First at six, Portland's mayor and police chief have called for an internal investigation over text messages between a lieutenant and the leader of the group Patriot Prayer. That group has been involved in several protests in Portland, including some that have turned violent. A series of text messages have surfaced between Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson and Portland Police Lieutenant Jeff Naya. In the messages, it appears the lieutenant gave Gibson tactical information during a rally back in June of 2017. A text from Lieutenant Naya reads, quote, Now's a great time to break down the rally and be able to leave. We have a large group of Antifa trying to flank us and you. We are stopping them for now, but not sure how long. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler says the messages appear to cross boundaries and raise questions about whether warrants are being enforced. That lieutenant has been removed from the rapid response team until the investigation is complete. Meantime, those messages have led to a lot of outcry today and outrage from city leaders. Fox 12's John Hendricks joins us now with that side of the story. John. Well, Nora, both sides in this say that they are upset and for different reasons. The union that represents the lieutenants in all of this say they're disappointed in the rush to judgment while the mayor's office say they're upset with the content that is in these text messages. Frustration and disappointment tonight inside and outside of Portland City Hall. As a person of color, my community has never trusted the police. It stems from an investigation now underway into text messages between Portland Police Lieutenant Jeff Naya and the leader of Patriot Prayer, Joey Gibson. Mayor Ted Wheeler and Commissioner Joanne Hardesty not happy with what they've seen. I think what the tests show is just how comfortable Portland police are with white supremacists as compared to other protesters. Wheeler views the messages as concerned saying he wants the city and activists to have a professional relationship, but these texts go too far. For me, this is about trust in our police. And for a long time, people in our community have feared that the police have a bias one way or the other. But Gibson says he's not embarrassed or concerned about them because he thinks it's good that leaders from activist groups and police have good, strong communication with each other. I just think that having respect for one another like the, like the the text messages between me and the sergeant I think that's a good thing and I think we need more of that and I think people should should really you know think about why they're so upset that there was respect between a leader of an activist group and a leader in the police station that have to meet each other on the streets all the time. The Portland Police Commanding Officers Association came to the defense of Lieutenant Naya saying they are disappointed in the mayor and Commissioner Hardesty's comments and rush to judgment. They add the comments only inflame and prejudice any investigation and its outcome. Lieutenant Craig Morgan, the head of the association, says Naya was just doing his job. It should not be taking anybody by surprise that he was working on building a relationship, building rapport, and gathering intelligence from somebody who is frequently downtown protesting. That is exactly within his job description. Uh, and he did nothing to violate policy and nothing, nothing wrong according to the orders he'd been given. While the investigation is underway, Portland police say Lieutenant Naya has been told to have no further conversations with any event organizers. Now, we did reach out to Lieutenant Nine today for comment and have not heard back. Uh, Portland police say that they plan to have a listening session next Thursday. For more information on that, if that's something you're interested in, head on over to kptv.com. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.